Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com, and we're gonna look at some of the different hand saws that are available for professional arborists. Uh, there's a lot of different ones. Uh, we've chosen to focus primarily on Silky and Notch today. Uh, Silky is by far the best hand saw in the world uh, without any question. Uh, and the Notch option that we have to show you is a pretty good value uh, and definitely not as expensive as some of the Silky saws. Uh, the ubiquitous uh, Silky is the Zubat. Um, this is the one uh, that made Silky famous. Uh, this is by far the best selling saw in the world. Um, it comes with a 13 inch blade. Uh, it's got the razor sharp teeth, uh, all the impulse hardening. You've got your uh, three rows of teeth uh, with all the different facets. Um, these bad boys are the best. Uh, it's not as light or as slim as some of the other ones. It doesn't have as big of a blade as some of the other ones, uh, but it's a really nice option um, and, and certainly the one that you see people buying the most of. Um, the handsaw that I used uh, when I was a field arborist uh, was the Sugoi. Um, I like this one because it has this big hook on the end. I actually uh, dulled this down myself with a file. It's meant for uh, cutting vines, which it does really well, um, or suckers. But uh, I filed it down so I could grab my rope with it. Um, I really like the exaggerated trigger grip on this one um, and the large length. Uh, this also has the larger style teeth, which are gonna cut uh, more, um, more aggressively. Uh, these types of hand saws are divided into a couple classifications. Uh, over here we have uh, mostly curved blades, and over here we have some straight blades. Um, so the ones that I've shown so far are all curved. Uh, this is the Surugi. Uh, the Surugi comes in uh, straight and curved and in a bunch of different sizes. Um, you see that this has a much smaller blade. It's a little more flexible, um, a little more detail-oriented. Uh, these have become very popular, um, and they're, they're very nice. Uh, curved blades are definitely more aggressive than flat blades uh, because of the downward pressure of the curve pulling. Uh, you're always cutting and you're not cutting on a flat. Uh, so you're really using the mechanical advantage of the blade uh, to do the work. Flat blade saws or flat saws, not curved saws, straight saws um, are more precise. Uh, you can use these to hand top out a tree uh, and cut a very accurate notch uh, with an accurate back cut that's gonna give you the hinge you want. And these are also nicer uh, for fitting into small spaces, especially on ornamental trees. Um, so there's definitely pluses and minuses to having a curved or a straight blade. Uh, this is the Gimtaro in two different lengths here. Uh, these come again in a variety of tooth size. Uh, so you'll see these are small teeth. Or they're listed as medium. And if you compare that to a larger tooth, uh, there's a clear difference in the tooth sizes, right? Um, so that's definitely something to look at uh, as you're choosing a saw. If you want a more precise cut, if you're working on ornamentals or very detailed hand pruning at eye level, uh, you'll probably want a, a smaller tooth profile. If you're operating you know, on big deadwood, making large cuts, uh, you probably want a more aggressive tooth profile so that you're cutting more uh, faster and, and using less energy. Um, one of the things that sets silky saws apart especially is the scabbards. Uh, this Zubat has three rollers inside of it. You can see one here, one here, and another one on the inside. Some of the more advanced uh, Surugi hand saws um, have six rollers in them, uh, or four. And you see that there's actually rollers here, here, uh, and on the inside. Um, one of the things that I really like about the saws uh, that Silky makes is they all have some type of protrusion on the front, uh, whether it's a hook or something like this. And as that's going into the scabbard, this is not the right saw for the scabbard, but uh, it'll illustrate it. That hook rides along the inside of the scabbard and prevents it from dulling or cutting up at the inside of the scabbard. Um, some of the scabbards are aluminum. Uh, these new Sarugi ones uh, have a metallic ring to them uh, and are, are an aluminum extrusion of some sort. Uh, a lot of the other ones are plastic. Um, without having rollers on the inside here, like you see on these, 
what will happen with this is as this goes down here, the hook is preventing it from cutting this part of the scabbard, but the blade flexes a little bit and you'll actually end up getting holes in your scabbard like right here where the blade just wears away. Um, that's pretty normal. Uh, you won't see that on the aluminum scabbard stuff. Uh, there's also a whole line of saws by Fano. Um, these feature uh, definitely a more original look or uh, vintage look with the wooden handles, uh, pony style saws like this. Um, one thing this blade stands out as being enormous. Uh, this is a, a Mondo blade, it's the double thick. Um, these don't come with, with the you know, high tech, uh, new age kind of scabbards or anything like that, um, but they are certainly more affordable. Uh, we also have the Notch Legacy. Um, this is a plastic scabbard. It has your built-in straps if you wanna use conventional leg straps. Um, the Sugoi actually comes with conventional leg straps, just simple Velcro straps, you can see that there. Uh, so that's a nice kind of value add for those. Um, but you will see the leg straps on this scabbard as well on almost all of the Silkies. Uh, there's a button lock here. This was improved from a previous version. So that's gonna keep it in there. Um, and you use this to push it. Uh, it's a very positive lock uh, and that's a great feature. Uh, you also see the, the hook nose here or the protrusion, um, that's gonna prevent it from tearing up the scabbard as much. And you're gonna just see just the one roller here on the inside to protect the main contact zone. So certainly not as many rollers as you see on some of the fancier, um, on some of the fancier uh, silky saws. Uh, every saw that I've shown you today so far with exception of this one is a full tang. Uh, what that means, is that the, the handle of the saw, let's see if I can do this without cutting myself here, is that the handle of the saw blade actually connects all the way through into the handle. Um, the Sugoi you see, or sorry, the Sarugi um, has this nice skeleton where these just fit on. The rest of these don't work like that. Um, all the other saws that you see from Silky are like a two-piece compression. So this handle actually splits down the center line here and this piece comes off when you remove these bolts. So uh, the Sarugis have that toolless feature that you see here, um, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you do need to, to get at it or replace it, you don't have to find any tools. Um, there's also a whole line of folding saws. I keep one of these in my car, uh, under the seat of my car actually. Um, I use it for all sorts of stuff, camping. Um, I've cleared brush on the side of the road in a storm with it. Uh, these come in all sizes from even smaller than this uh, to very, very large. Um, they all feature some sort of lock so you won't fold it on your hands. Um, they come in straight blades, they come in curved blades, big teeth, small teeth. Uh, these are really nice. Um, if you're just doing some pruning, you know, you can slip it in your back pocket. Uh, for ornamental stuff, they're also great to have around the house um, or just for camping, like I use it. Um, they all come with some type of nice case like this. Uh, and this one even has like a, a form of belt loop. So uh, that's a gomboy, uh, which is similar to these gomboys, uh, except it's a folder. Um, if you're looking to put a handsaw on your legs, uh, I love the Talon. I was one of the guys that worked on developing this, so I'm kind of partial, but uh, the Notch Talon fits on any one of these saw scabbards or, or any scabbard. Um, it has these hard plastic shells here with a very nice uh, heat formed uh, padding underneath there. And what it does is it offsets from your leg the saw a little bit by pushing the scabbard out. That'll prevent you um, from getting a ton of heat build up there, uh, hot spots, as well as prevent friction on your leg. Um, and it also stops, uh, especially like, you know, so I like, I told you I guys, I like this Sugoi. Um, when I bend my leg, I have a very tall leg, right? Uh, for shorter legged people, if the saw is up here, when they bend their leg, it catches them in the, in the thigh like that, right? Um, so by pushing it out with the talon, that extra quarter inch, even if their leg is short, when they go to bend their leg, it's gonna bring it up outside and not catch on their thigh. Um, Notch Talon's really nice. Uh, it's, it's pretty cheap compared to some of the other things out there. So I definitely recommend that. Uh, getting kind of a long video here. I did want to close by showing you uh, 
what is actually the second biggest, now they are third biggest. They just came out with two even bigger versions than this. There's one where the blade uh, is actually as long as this whole saw uh, with the handle, which is kind of crazy. Um, but this is the Katana Boy um, 650. Uh, look at that tooth profile <laughs> compared to some of these other teeth. Uh, it's just enormous. Um, very cool stuff from Silky. Uh, definitely love the whole Silky line. Um, but if you're looking for something more affordable, I would definitely also check out this Notch uh, Legacy 13 inch. Uh, all these saws are available every day uh, at treestuff.com. You can use the discount code online, O-N-L-I-N-E, to save 7% off any cart. Thanks for watching.